Hi, this is Ms. TechFi. In this video, we'll be covering rooting and hotspot on the LG Optimus V. With the LG Optimus V Android version 2.2.1, it was possible to hotspot your phone with just a simple widget added, but with the LG Optimus V Android version 2.2.2, that simplicity is not possible, therefore you need to root your phone to be able to hotspot. My preference before rooting a phone is to do a factory reset, so there's no chance of a third-party app causing any problems. If you want to do a factory reset, back up your contacts and calendar. Save anything else on the phone, such as text or MMS. Write down the names of the applications you'd like to reinstall back onto the phone. If there's anything on your SD card that you cannot afford to lose, back up those contents off the SD card onto a computer or email those items to yourself. I will place a link under the video for all applications used in this video. The root will be done with Gingerbreak 1.2 from the XDA form and the Wi-Fi hotspot will be done with wireless tether for root users from the Android market. Before we do this make sure that you have a file manager installed. I have Astro installed on here. You're also going to need to go into your settings, applications, make sure the check mark is done next to unknown sources, go into development and make sure that the check mark is put next to USB debugging. So with the link down below, you're going to click on that to get to the Gingerbreak 1.2. I had problems with the Android stock browser downloading this file, so I put in Opera and it seems to work just fine. Now if you open this, this is what you're going to see. And here we go. So we're going to root the device. So the phone is rebooted. So if you go on to the Android market, type in super user, you're going to see that it shows that it's installed and you'll need to update it. So super user is updating. Alright, so I have installed root checker onto this phone. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Verify the root access. Congratulations, you have root access. So I've gone ahead and installed wireless tether for root users. Let's go ahead and open up the application. To start it, just tap on it. Go ahead and allow. and you are now in a hot spot. Let's go ahead and test it out on the computer. So with wireless tether I have it on and here you can see it recognized it as Android tether. I'm going to go ahead and type in msn.com load another web page just to show you that it's going And there you have it, rooting and hotspot on Optimus V. I would like to add that if you want to uninstall the Wi-Fi tether, first make sure that you shut it off first because if you try to uninstall while it's still running, when you go to turn your Wi-Fi on, it's going to error and you're not going to be able to connect to any Wi-Fi router with your phone until you have done that. So you'll have to go in and install Wi-Fi Tether back on, disable it, and then uninstall. 